Greetings student, my name is Dr. Colucci. I'm the Chief Technology Officer here at Plaza College. Welcome to the online tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about the digital resources that we have here for you at Plaza College to get you through your courses, to check your grades and attendance, to check your email, to use email, and perhaps some other resources that we have in the My App screen. You've been provided with an at plazacollege.edu email address while you were coming through the admissions process. You're going to use that same email address as your Plaza ID for the remainder of your time here at Plaza College. So it's important that you always remember that username and password ongoing. Today I'm going to log in right now using my screen here to show you those resources that I just talked to you about. So to get to the login screen, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can go to www.plazacollege.edu and click on Student Login. Essentially, that will bring you to myapps.plazacollege.edu. And it's going to show you a login screen that looks a lot like this one. And I'm just going to log in as a test student right now. And you, of course, are going to use your own credentials to get in. This is going to bring you to the My Apps screen. And on this screen are a bunch of different online resources, all in their own right, very expansive. Uh, so let's go over them very quickly. The first one on this screen is called Canvas. It's your learning management platform. This is where you go to get all of your course information, to see your lectures if you have online lectures occurring, and see your activities and resources for each and every single course. Uh, the next one is going to be Gmail. I think everybody's familiar with Gmail. If you're not, uh, I'll go over it very quickly. My Portal is where you're going to go to get your grades and attendance, and it's really your official account here at the school. And then Office 365, which is a bunch of resources that you'll need to do a lot of your work in your courses. So let's just jump right in, into Canvas. Now, this is all a single sign-on system. So the first time you sign in will, should be the last time you have to sign in until the next time you come to your computer. Inside of the Canvas system, you're going to see all of your courses. Now, they show up on the very first day of courses uh, that semester here at the school. So if you don't see them right away, don't worry about it. By the time the first semester rolls around, you will see these courses show up in your screen on day one of the course. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on one of these tiles on the dashboard. And then at the top of that screen, I see an Our Video Classroom link right here. Now, I would click on this video classroom link on the day and time that I'm supposed to see my lectures. And essentially what this does is it really opens up a Google Meet session so that I can see the lecture and participate in the class. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I want to be sure, I just want to make sure this point is, is brought across to you that you have to be logged into your at plazacollege.edu email address in order for Google Meet to work properly. If you're logged into a personal email address here, like a personal Gmail account, you're going to have problems getting into your class because it will not let you in right away. So make sure at the top of the screen right here, it says your Plaza College Gmail account. Okay. Going back to my course, now again, this is where I'm going to see all of my activities and resources, syllabuses, my instructor's information, and on a weekly basis, the activities and resources released to you uh, during your course. So that's basically Canvas. To get back to the dashboard, I would just click this link at the top left. And let's go back over to My Apps really quick. So Gmail, I think a lot of people are already familiar with Gmail. Uh, here, hit the school. Uh, your Gmail account looks just like any other Gmail account would. Uh, to send a message here at our school, you could just uh, type a, a person's name into the to area right here, and then the subject and the body of the email, and just hit send, and it goes off to you, or to the person that you're sending it to. So I just sent myself a message here real quick, and there it is. OK, back to my apps. All right, so uh, Google Drive, know that this resource is available to you. Basically, Google Drive is where you can store things. So if I wanted to store something in my Google Drive and I was working on it on my computer, I could always drag and drop a file right into here and let go of it, and it automatically just uploads into Google Drive. Pretty cool. Uh, and I could save that for the duration of uh, my time at the school. And you graduate from here, you keep this forever. and this. Uh, this actually is unlimited storage in Google Drive, which is a nice feature for everybody. My Portal. 
again, my portal is your account here at the school. So your grades, your attendance. Uh, you can actually reach out to some staff members regarding some of the records that you have here at the school. You can also pay, uh, pay some of your uh, f financial obligations here at the school through here. So in, in the portal, as an active student, you're going to have a lot, of, uh, a lot of things available to you in the menu. It's taking a second to load up for me here. Hold on. Okay, uh, in the left menu, you'll see finances, documents, campus links, the vaccine surveys in here. And as an active student, you're actually going to have a lot more resources here. This particular student is, uh, is only in the application stage, so they don't see a lot of the resources here, but you're going to see a lot more. So stay on top of this. You'll be able to get your grades, your attendance, and all the things that are on your official record here. Office 365. Excellent uh, value to you here as a student. This is free to every single student that goes here and you'll keep it in perpetuity if you do graduate from here. Uh, you can install Office 365 onto your computer, which is a full-blown Office, uh, Office professional version. You'll have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all of those other uh, fun uh, uh, tools and digital resources that Office 360 uh, Microsoft provides. You can also use them online if you don't want to install it on your computer. You could just click on to the Word icon here at the left and get into Microsoft Word online and just do your work here and then save it as you whatever you'd like to save it as. And that's basically how that works. Same thing for PowerPoint in there as well. Um, from Office, you can go to the PowerPoint icon and simply uh, create a new PowerPoint presentation in Excel too. All right. Uh, on campus is basically our online library, so feel free to check that out. We have the ARC in there, the Academic Resource Center, where you can actually create a session for free tutoring inside of a Google Meet. Similar to the way you get your lectures, you can actually get a tutoring session from somebody uh, at the library. So um, be sure to check that out. We have other resources here, the, the website, of course, and the Plaza College calendar tells, gives you the academic calendar. It tells, us, tells you when, uh, when things are open here at the school. All right, so we went over Canvas, Gmail, My Portal, Office 365, the on campus website, which is basically the library, and the academic calendar. If you have any questions about it uh, using any of these tools, please feel free to, to email us. We're at support at plazacollege.edu. We're here to help. Uh, if you have any problems at all for, for on a, in a digital nature, just reach out to us and we'll get back to you. All right, thanks a lot and good luck here at the school.